Hi everyone, so today we're talking favorites for the month of November. It's a little bit late for me posting this video, but I actually was pretty sick last week and I'm still trying to get over this last little bit where my, I still sound a little bit nasally. So drinking a lot of tea and doing my Theraflu. <laughs> I'm not going to show that because it's medicine, nobody cares. <laughs> but um, I do want to share with you guys some of my favorites that I have really been enjoying and um, I'm going to share with you guys some of my teas towards the end of the video. Um, if I ever have like foods or any like snacks and random things, those will be to usually towards the end of the video. If you're new to my channel, I always like to do the beauty stuff first. So if you are new, welcome to my channel. And if you are an OG watcher, thank you so much for spending some of your day with me here today so we can talk beauty and makeup and fun stuff. So the first thing is the Tatcha Pure Camellia, the One Step Cleansing Oil. This is very expensive. And let me just say that I got the Tatcha Cleansing Oil with the Clarisonic on QVC for about 120 bucks or so. And it wasn't like a Today Special or anything. It was just on there that we were talking about cleansing. And I think they might have had um, I remember at one point they had the Mia one, which I ordered one and sent it to my sister for her birthday, and I got her the really bright teal color. It's really, really pretty. I think it's turquoise. Um, but I got the Mia two. I haven't used the two system, the two speed thing. I've just done the regular, the the first, the speed, the number one speed, I guess. For I don't know if it's called anything special. I think it's just the the sensitive or the normal one speed but this does have two speeds and I got it with the cleansing oil which I thought was a really good deal because this on its own you guys is 50 bucks and I know it's kind of crazy and not everybody can justify that I personally myself am having a hard time sort of wrapping my mind around if I'm going to repurchase this because I really do enjoy it it's very expensive so I may have to wait for like a VIB sale or something like that to stock up on this but um, I do like this product and I think the reason, well, I know I like it because it takes everything off, but the reason why I'm sharing it in today's video is because this does really take off everything around the eyes, the mascara and the liner, which I think is, to me, what makes this a little bit more special than other cleansing oils. Um, whether it's enough to purchase this for this price point over another cleansing oil, that's for you to decide. But I have enjoyed it, and I'm going to share it with you guys because I use this every time I wear makeup. Even when I'm not wearing makeup, I like to use it to kind of remove my SPF and also any sort of oils throughout the day. It just really cleanses the skin and preps it for my second cleanse, which is the Peaky Bar from Drunk Elephant in conjunction with the um, Clarisonic Mia 2. But this is very good, and I have been using this and nothing else to remove my makeup, so therefore I'm going to show it because I've been using it. And I do like it. It doesn't sting or irritate my eyes. My skin is sensitive and I do enjoy it. I just don't like the price tag. And I will have to say this, this brand itself, it is very expensive, but their packaging is just beautiful. It's like their packaging, you want to leave this out. In fact, I do leave this out of my vanity because it's so nice. <laughs> but they're, I'm really intrigued by their violet mask, the brightening one, because the packaging is just so beautiful and capturing. It's very bright, just very expensive, very luxe. And I hope that the actual products itself is good and not that it's super expensive because you're paying mostly for packaging because some brands are like that and I can't stand that but um, I'm showing it it is pricey I know but I've been using it every single day so I really like it and of course the Clarisonic Mia too I don't use this every single day I do use this on days like like today I'm wearing makeup so I will do this um, with my cleanser which is like I said the Peaky Bar from Drunk Elephant I do just the one speed. I haven't even tried this, the second speed. I love this because it really does clean much better than using your hands. And I've watched them on presentation when they're on QVC. Bless you, girl. That's my dog is sneezing. Um, and this is supposed to sort of flush the skin with water and sort of vibrate all the gunk out of the pores. And there is a patented um, whole deal with the way they created the oscillation and the actual device itself and how it's supposed to cleanse the skin. And it is truly better than using your hands. Now, your hands does work, but if you want to get everything off, especially if you're acne prone or have issues with um, clogged pores, which my pores are completely clear. There are no blackheads in my pore, large pore area. They're very, um, they're much less noticeable because they're clear and there's no gunk in them. Um, you can use products to minimize pores, but pores are pores and you're going to have them. And I think keeping them clear and free of bacteria, buildup, oils it really does make them look smaller and you don't have to I don't use pore minimizers and for me they probably look more noticeable than they really do to someone that's looking at me they probably don't even notice it but I think it has a lot to do with this 
I don't use this like I said every single night. I think that may be a little too much for my sensitive skin. I have used it a few nights consecutively and it's fine. Um, but I don't use it seven days a week. And I will say when I use this, my skin is the softest that it's ever been. Um, when I have like dryness and like patchy kind of flaky stuff, I will use this. It knocks it right out and then it's like baby smooth. So for me, it's worth that price point. And if you want one of these, I would suggest looking at QVC because you can get them in conjunction with maybe they may still have this set. You can get it with skincare products. You can get it at a really good price and not have to pay, I think it's like $169 for the Mia 2 and I paid $120, which is cheaper. Plus, I get this and I'm like, yeah, I'm add to cart, checking out right now because I definitely wanted to try this and I enjoyed mine so much that I ordered and sent one to my sister. She's got the Mia 1 in the turquoise color. They had it as a today's special value for like 80 bucks, and I was like, this would be the perfect gift for her birthday. And so I sent her one and she's going to try it and get back to me. So hopefully she loves it as much as I do. <laughs> and skincare, since we're on that topic, I will have to mention the Drunk Elephant Marula. I've talked about this before, but this is again in my favorites. I use this every single morning and every single night. I also use it on my hands. I use it over my foundation if I feel like it's sort of clinging to dryness around the eyes because they're really dry now. But this is really good and it doesn't break me out. I have not had any issues of breakouts because of this. I've had two breakouts recently, but I think it's just, you know, the change in weather, change of diet. It's just sort of catching up. And I've been doing as good as I can to drink my water, eat very clean and healthy. Um, but this is very good. It's always good to have something like this on hand, especially if you have skin that can change. And skin does change every single day. You will have some days where it's really good, really nice and dewy. Which, if you want a natural kind of glow and radiation to the skin, where radiation, radiating, let's just use radiating better, <laughs> not radiation. If you want your skin to have that radiating glow that naturally looks really pretty and luminous, this is what's going to give it to you. And using, you know, just hydrating products instead of relying on highlighters, this is definitely one of those things that gives me that pretty glow. But it hydrates. It's not a very thick oil at all. It sinks in. For someone who does get oily, I get oily primarily in my nose area um, and sometimes like right around this area. It doesn't make me even oilier. In fact, I produce less oil using this. So you can get any oil that works with your skin type, but I would recommend something like this. This is a little bit pricey. I know it's $72 for an ounce, but if you get it during the VIB sale or when they have any specials or anything like that on their website, you can save money and it's a really good product. I am very picky about certain things because I am acne prone and when I find something that works I want to kind of stick with it. I don't like to get too fancy with the routine or incorporate too many new things because then my skin will sort of freak out. So and going into Drunk Elephant I'm sort of just going along with everything just very smoothly. At least I think so. <laughs> the C from Day Serum, I kid you not, this stuff is amazing. This stuff truly does work. It's 15% L-ascorbic acid which is the pure form of vitamin C. It's got a lot of other um, ingredients to hydrate the skin, a lot of antioxidants in it. This protects you from free radical damage, helps with collagen production. It just helps protect you in the same, similar ways, not the same, similar ways as using SPF, the free radicals from the sun and the rays. They're very damaging to the skin and the skin cells, so using this with SPF really gives you the best protection that you can get with products when you're outside in the sunlight. <clears throat> but this stuff, I had a breakout here in October <clears throat> and then we are in the beginning of December and I don't even have to put concealer and I have to say it has to be this this and the exfoliation of using this a few nights so my camera battery decided to shut off on me so I don't really know exactly where I stopped but I was saying that using this such a rude of you camera this in conjunction with exfoliating a couple times a week really has helped with keeping my skin really nice and bright and very even the spot that I had from a breakout in October which was it wasn't super bad, but it was pretty It was pretty big. It has definitely gone down. I had one here that was pretty big. I do have a little bit of concealer over it, but this was really nasty. It was kind of like purpley and ugly looking, and it's still ugly, and I don't like looking at it, but I feel like it has gone down in the pigmentation, and I do think that it has to do with using the vitamin C to keep it bright and just kind of reduce the spots, which that's what vitamin C does. It's one of the qualities that I love about it is that it does help with um, brown spots and age spots. It helps keep the skin looking brighter and just giving you more of a brighter complexion. So really thoroughly enjoy that. Uh, for makeup, um, <clears throat> besides the eyeshadow palette that I shared first, I do like the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. And what I like to do with this is apply it onto my cheekbones first 
with a brush or with my finger and then go on top of it with a highlighter and it really kind of gives you that beaming very dewy kind of yes you will see the cheekbones coming from a mile away type of look it's not for everybody I get it I do like to do it from time to time today I'm using a Bobbi Brown one that's a little bit more it's dewy but it's softer um, if I were to put the Bobbi Brown over this it would be like BAM in your face so if you like doing that this is a nice little beauty tip using a primer that that has a lot of shimmer and a nice sort of glow. It just makes your skin look so much prettier and healthier. Look at that. Look at the difference. This one has a primer. This one, oh, where am I? This one does not. No primer. Primer. It just has this sort of nice luminescence to it, which I like for the tops of the cheekbone, down the nose. You can do it on your cupid's bow and then top it with a highlighter, like a powder highlighter. Any color would really work over that, but that just sort of elevates that shimmer. It makes it much more intense. All right, so for the last sort of beauty-ish type of thing, I have to mention my Chanel fragrance. This is the Chanel Chance, the O Tender. I love this stuff. It smells so good. I it's fruity. It's it's not that florally, but it's not super fruity and like fruit basket type of fruitiness. But it is very sweet, and I love that. I love the scent. It feels very luxurious. It is a luxurious brand, Chanel. Um, it's very timeless, very classy. I mentioned this in my gift guide as being a very nice luxe gift to give someone that's very special to you and just make them feel very special and just kind of spoil them a bit. I love this. It is a little bit pricey, but this smells... Oh, gosh. This is like my scent. Like... If I could smell like this for the rest of my life, I think I would be one happy gal. It smells really good. I would say go smell it the next time you're in Sephora or if you're at Neiman Marcus or wherever you can get like the Chanel counter and smell it and take a whiff of it and try it on and see how it mixes with your body because some fragrances do change over time. I will say that once I put this on, it does smell the same, pretty consistent through the whole time that I'm wearing it. And my whole closet smells like this because when I take off my clothes and I put it in the laundry basket, it still smells and when I go to do the laundry and I'm separating my lights and my darks and all that kind of stuff, you guys know how to do laundry, I can still smell this. It just lingers and I think that's what impressed me the most because I have like the Marc Jacobs Daisy. I also have over there on display my Gucci 2 which I love that. I'm almost out of it. I'm savoring that because that one is one of my all time favorite ones. The Gucci 2 is amazing. But those don't tend to last nearly as long as this so I think that for the money the smell, the longevity of the scent, it stays on your body, stays on your clothes for a very long time and it doesn't fade. This is it, the O Tender. If you also see the O for Shea one, that one also smells a little bit more florally than this one. That one's also good. I think I might get that one next. But that one is the one that has a slight kind of greenish tint to the liquid. This one has like a soft, subtle kind of blush. It's not going to pick up, but like a blushy pink tinge to the, to the liquid. So it's not completely clear. But that bottle is so pretty. I have it out on my dresser in my room because it looks so pretty you don't want to hide this you don't want to put this in under your counter or anything like that this is something you want to display it's so pretty very luxurious and I love <laughs> I need to take a sip of my tea it's tea time and speaking of tea I've been mixing a lot of teas I've been going to Starbucks to get the medicine ball which is um, Jade citrus mint from Tiavana and the Peach Tranquility, I think that's what it's called, also by Tiavana. They put lemonade, steam lemonade, water, honey, and it smells really great and it tastes really good. And it really does feel like a refreshing drink, but you're also getting the tea in it as well, which is good if you have a cold. It helps with sore throats and stuff like that. So, of course, I don't have the Tiavana teas, and I was like, I need to make this. And what can I get that's quick that I can use to make this tea? So I started, like, mixing things. I haven't quite gotten it just yet, but... If I do, I'll share. But the tea that I've been enjoying is the Tazo Zen. This is the green tea, which is one of the teas that they use. The Jade Citrus Mint from Tiavana has the mint, the um, citrusy kind of notes. This one doesn't have any citrus. It's just the lemongrass, spearmint, and green tea. So that's what I have in my um, tea right now, the Tazo. And I also mix it with a mango flavored tea. But if you like fruity teas, the Country Peach by Celestial is really good. I have a ton of celestial teas. When I got sick, I shared a picture on Snapchat that I was not messing around. I had teas, I had Theraflu, I had Halls. Like I went and I bought as many things to kick this cold, but 
as possible at the store. Um, and some NyQuil. Eventually, I did get the NyQuil. The Theraflu definitely helped. But this one does really taste nice with the peach. And speaking of Celestial, I have the variety. So my husband likes like the chamomile ones before bed. The sleepy time does work. He said he does get a little sleepy with it. Um, peppermint. I love peppermint. So this is just a few extra bags. But I do have a box of the peppermint. It smells really good. I have like apple flavored ones, like apple spice ones as well. Been drinking a lot of teas. I think that's just the season for teas and hot cocoa, but tea is my thing. And also, I have to say that these are made in Boulder, which is not that close to me. Kind of close, but it's still in Colorado. And I'm representing Colorado with my t-shirt today, yes. <laughs> um, so I have to give a shout out that that is a local thing. Oh, sorry. Oh. She had some vaccinations yesterday. I don't know. You can kind of see her head a little bit. She has vaccinations on her back, and she's a little sore. So I'm sorry, girl. But anyways, uh, that is it for the favorites for this month or for November. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and found something that you may want to try. If you have any questions about anything, as always, let me know in the comment section. You guys know I love hearing from you. Feel free to share your favorites in the comment section because I like to hear from you guys. I think I already said that. Um, have a great day, and um, you can also subscribe for more videos in the future. Follow me on social media. It's on the screen. Have a fabulous weekend, and I will see you guys on Monday.